In this tutorial, I will be exploring this question. How can I make money from my website without selling anything? This guide provides some easy to implement practical ways to make money from a website without selling anything. So if you have a website and you're interested in learning how to create an income source from the website without selling items, keep watching. Hi, my name is Ashley. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button so you get alerted about new videos. Please make sure you like the video because that tells me you like the content and I'll then create more content for you. Thank you, let's go. So to begin with, let me tell you what makes a website profitable. First things first, when it comes to making money online, you need a website and it needs to be profitable. What do we mean by a profitable website? Well, it's a website that is designed and operating in a way that makes money. Profitable websites allow you to utilize the behavior of your audience to convert clicks into cash. So what makes a profitable website? Good user experience. Every website should have a great user experience at its core. Users should be able to easily navigate through your website, engage with your content and have a quick access to the information they're looking for. The next is mobile optimization. Ensuring that your website performs just as well on a mobile device as it does on a desktop is crucial if you want to use it to make money. More people than ever before Four are using mobile devices to browse the web so you need to ensure you make your website mobile friendly in order to support them. The next is quality design. Modern website builders make it easy to create clean, fresh and professional website designs. Having a high quality design is important if you want to use your website to make money. Users should be able to land on your website and enjoy the visual elements, not be over or underwhelmed by the features on the page. The next is page speed. The fact is the fast the websites have greater potential for generating higher profits. Users don't want to wait around for your content to load, which means website load times are crucial for success. Web pages should be up and visible instantly. The next is easy navigation. How you structure your website is important if you want to use it to make money. Users should be able to find what they're looking for quickly and in no more than three clicks. Method number one, use affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing can be a great way of making making money online without selling physical products or services. Affiliate marketing is basically where you convince a user to purchase a specific item and you earn a commission on the sale. For example, if you've created a blog about horse riding, you might link to specific riding accessories within blog posts that you recommend your readers buy. If you set up affiliate links on your website, then you'll earn a small commission from the sale if a user follows that link and makes a purchase. In order to implement affiliate marketing successfully you'll need an audience after all you can't receive any commission if there's no one clicking on your links and making a purchase the great thing about affiliate marketing is that it's super scalable as your audience grows so too does the potential for making money through affiliate links if you're driving a good amount of traffic to your website and you've built up a good relationship with your readers who trust your advice you can be making a lot of money without having to put in a great deal of effort affiliate marketing is an excellent an example of a passive income stream and allows you to reap the benefits of selling items online without having the headache of sorting delivery, refunds and customer service. Many well-known brands have signed up to affiliate schemes while e-commerce giant Amazon even has its own program in place which is Amazon Affiliates. Find your niche. Because affiliate marketing is such a competitive business, it's extra important that you find a really specific niche from the get-go. The demand for the products and services you're writing about. Check if your niche idea is too niche by looking at how many people are searching for that product or service online. You can do this using a keyword tools such as the Google Keyword Planner to see how popular related search terms are for your niche. The tool will show you how many people are searching for these terms each month in any given country and you'll soon see where the demand lies. Potential payouts for these products and services. Once you've found a product or service that you think fits the bill, you need to check you can actually make some money from it and crucially how much. For now though, check the affiliate programs of the sites that stock your product to make sure that there's some potential there. If your products are stocked on Amazon, check the percentage payout for your product category. How much competition there is. At the end of the day, your idea may not work well if there are already a lot of people doing it really well. Start by googling some of the terms you found with keyword research. Could you compete with the content that's already out there? Does it seem current and does the brand seem trustworthy? Is it well known? Be honest with yourself and start again from step 
one if you think this niche is already saturated. You could also go more niche. Method number two, placing advertisements on a website. Placing ads on your website is a great example of how to make money online without selling products. There are two main ways that you can place ads on your website. You can either sign up to a third party ad network or arrange the ads directly with the advertisers yourself. There are basically two ways to manage advertisers on your website. Firstly, you can manage it all yourself. You set your charges and try to attract advertisers. For a lot of businesses, this has proved the most lucrative method. This is basically because there are always plenty of people who know nothing about effective online advertising who will advertise anywhere if your sales platter is convincing enough. There are plenty of unscrupulous businesses who are making money this way including many generic online business directories. The other method is to use an intermediary advertising agency. There are many of these agencies around and most of them will pay you on a pay per click basis. This means that you get a set fee every time somebody clicks on the advert rather than a flat fee per month. This is how the advertisers prefer to pay and this is why having low numbers of visitors means that you won't earn much. Keep in mind that probably only 1% of your visitors will click on an advert on your website. Different advertising agencies pay different amounts and most of them will actually pay differing amounts depending on the adverts you are displaying. By far the best intermediary agency is Google Ads. AdSense. Even though they never actually tell you how much they pay for the adverts you display, they actually seem to end up paying more than anyone else. Not because they are more generous than the competition, but because they generate more clicks. Google knows pretty much everything about everyone. They are tracking you on almost every website that you visit. So they know what you like and they know what you click on so they can target very good ads to you when you are visiting websites. Google AdSense is basically the opposite end of the Google AdWords system. When you advertise on Google using AdWords, the exact same system can be used to advertise on other people's websites through Google AdSense. You can advertise your website on other people's websites using Google AdWords, or you can advertise other people's websites on your website using Google AdSense. It's two sides of the same coin. The downsides of Google AdSense is that you don't choose the adverts that appear on your website. Google does, and it displays different ads to different people so it's very difficult to see what adverts are being displayed on your website. You basically just insert a snippet of code into the space on your website that you want the advert to appear and Google inserts the adverts into that space automatically. This means that you could have your competitors ads appearing on your site. If you need to control the ads that appear on your site, forget about Google AdSense and choose one of the other providers. A lot of them will let you choose exactly which adverts to display from a list. Like most intermediary advertising agencies, Google AdSense pays you based on how many people click on the adverts. Although it varies for each ad and they haven't publicized what the rate is. So the more clicks your site generates, the more money you make. And because of Google's data on everyone, they can target ads better than anyone else to earn you the most money. Method number three, use an ad network. Once you've launched your website and have started generating traffic, you can sign up to an ad network. Some of the most popular ad networks are Google AdSense, AdThrive and Ezoi. It's worth noting that some networks require a minimum traffic number so if you're just starting out I recommend going with Google AdSense. Ad networks are super simple to get your head around and are yet another example of passively making money from your website. Once you've been approved to join the network you'll be given a small piece of code to insert into the back end of your website. Then you're done. The network will then run ads through your website. As your website grows, you'll be able to have more control over the size and placement of ads as well as the theme of the ads you place. The amount of money you make through an ad network will depend on an array of factors including your monthly traffic and the type of content you host on your website. Advertisers will bid for the ad spots available and you'll get paid for hosting the ad on your website. Remember the ad network will take a percentage of the overall payment too. Method number four. 
work with direct advertisements. You don't have to use an ad network if you think placing ads on your website is the best way to make money online without selling anything. You can instead promote ad places on your website yourself or go directly to the businesses you would be interested in featuring to see if they would be up for placing an ad on your site. Placing ads in this way allows you to set the price for your ad space as high or low as you want. It can prove trickier to convince people to pay for an advertisement on your website than using an ad network though and you'll need to manage the admin such as sorting payment and approving the ad visuals and messaging. An advantage of selling your own ads is the fact that you will cut the middlemen out increasing your revenue potential. Suppose you sell text links ads on your sidebar through a certain company and the text link sells for $50 monthly. Since you are using the company network to sell the ads they will get 50% of the price and you will end up earning only $25 monthly for each text link. If someone is willing to pay $50 for a text link on your site though it means that they are getting $50 of value out of it. Why then should you share that with somebody else? People linking to your site or articles. If a company is willing to link to your articles or to add your website under its links or resources section, it is also probably willing to discuss about advertising on your site to keep track of those incoming links. People leaving comments and emails. The same principle applies to people leaving comments on your blog or sending you emails. If among them you see an employee or the owner of a company that could be interested on your website, contact him or her and get the conversation going. While Google Google AdWords is by far the largest advertising network on the internet, there are many others that could be useful. Check the companies that are spending money on Adbright, text link ads, blog ads, sponsored reviews and so on. Method number 5. Implement micro payments into your website. Micro payments are a way of encouraging visitors to your website to contribute to anything from the upkeep and running of the site to buying a coffee. In order to set up micro payments, you'll need to add an app or widget. Buy me a coffee is a particular popular option that allows users to click on an icon and contribute a small amount. The concept behind micro payments is to create a pay per use system where people pay a small fee to read your content and use your website. You can add a micro payment icon on every page of your website, just on one page, in the sidebar, footer, basically wherever you want. The widgets are small so they aren't overbearing for users but they're still noticeable and can be a great way of building up money through your website. Micro payments are like a virtual tip jar for visitors to contribute to in order to support your website and content creation. As more people opt to get their content online, even many large scale publications have introduced a micro payment model where users must pay to continue reading articles on the website once they've reached a certain limit. Method number six, use sponsored posts. Yes. Creating sponsored posts is a popular way of making money online without having to sell anything. Sponsored posts are blog posts that are sponsored by a brand. A brand will pay you a pre-agreed fee for creating a post that centers around its products and services. With blogs becoming increasingly popular with people of all ages, brands are willing to pay top fees to get a sponsored blog post on a website within its niche to reach a large engaged audience. Of course, sponsored posts are really only an option for websites that have built up a substantial following. Brands are only willing to pay if they can see what kind of results such as click-throughs, brand awareness and conversions a sponsored post on your website will offer. To help build up your audience in order to begin creating sponsored posts and making money online, you'll need to ensure the SEO of your website is up to scratch. Thank you for watching and don't forget to tell me in the comments section below the video which method from this video you are going to use first. I'd be interested to hear from you. So the next thing to do if you want more help with internet marketing is make sure you go and click the link in the description box under the video now and go visit the Internet Business School website, the UK's leading internet marketing training provider. They offer a range of comprehensive courses covering all aspects of digital marketing. They will give you 
all the training, skills and knowledge you need to create a profitable online business. If you are interested in that, which I hope you are, just click the link in the description box under the video and take a look at it. I hope you found this video useful. Please share it with your friends, like it and tell people about it. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and please give the video a like. Just click the subscribe button below this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment under the video below and I will follow up with you. Thanks for watching.